Hi there, Lee Bird with BTech. Today we're talking about the NCUA, Cyber Incident Notification Requirements. All right, effective September 1st, the NCUA has made some changes for federally insured credit unions. And specifically, it's about cyber incident notification. So what they're saying now is that uh, beginning September 1st, uh, a credit union must notify the NCUA as soon as possible or within no later than 72 hours uh, after the credit union reasonably believes that it's experienced a reportable cyber incident. Okay, so let's go and look at what the NCUA has put out here. So this is on the NCUA's website. This is under letters to credit unions and other guidance. This is from August of 2023. So this is current. Many credit unions that we've talked to are unaware of this specific notification. But if you read down here, uh, it's, it's, a good, it's a good notification. Basically what they're, they're outlining are changes to part 748, the rules that we know about. And uh, if you click on this link here, it takes you over to regulations.gov and you'll see all the different changes there as well. But if you read through this, they, they've outlined it in basically what they call a three-prong approach. <laughs> So the first prong are reportable cyber incidents uh, that leads to a substantial loss of confidentiality, integrity, or availability of a member information system. Okay, that's the first prong. Second prong is reportable cyber incident defined when a cyber attack disrupts business operations. Uh, this could be a denial of service attack, something of that nature. Um, and then finally, this one I find very interesting. Uh, the third prong of the reportable cyber incident definition requires a credit union to notify the agency when a third party service provider informs the credit union that the credit union's data operations have been compromised or disrupted. So uh, if you've seen some of my other videos recently, you know that unfortunately there have been some supply chain attacks recently, uh, some QSOs and organizations that support QSOs that have been affected. So third-party vendors that have uh, ultimately allowed member information to be compromised. So the takeaway here is there is a new rule in effect from the NCUA. These are changes to Part 748. A credit union must report as soon as possible or within 72 hours. Uh, again, a federal credit union if they suspect that they've had a cyber incident. Uh, the other thing that's important here is uh, they do sort of review implementation guidelines. Let me show that to you down here at the bottom. The first thing, update your response plan. So again, if you've been watching my videos, uh, you know that um, we work very closely with Arctic Wolf. They've got a great service for incident response plans. And uh, this is something that these changes will need to be made in your incident response plan because now We've got a report within 72 hours. So hope this information is valuable for you. I'll put a link to the NCUA's website. Hopefully you have already received this notification and you're aware of it, but these changes go into effect on September 1st. This is coming up in just a few days. Hope everyone's doing well. If I can help in any way, please let me know. Thank you so much. Take care.